makes sense to me. But once you kind of graduate out of the box, I'll show you guys what to do um, or what, how to think about it. But if you're still just getting used to it, there's three terms in this area, right? So you make three columns. 5x cubed plus 10x squared minus 15x. So now we just determine, all right, well, what again could be our area here? And remember, whatever side length I want, I want to make sure that side length can evenly divide into all of those areas. Yes? Um, last class, whenever we, or not last class, the last time you went over this, you did it differently than what you're doing now. I did the first box, right? You did, I think you did like one of each. No, I didn't do, I, didn't, I only did the first box, the first top box, which I'll go back to and explain here in a second. OK? So, but what would this height? Continue on. What, do you, what would give us 5x cubed that I'd want to have? And th what would this side be? Just give it a shot. Try it. Huh? Like it'd be 5 and 1. And what about, could I use an x to represent that height as well? Yeah, 5x. Yeah. Right. So you'd say, this could be 5x, and this could be x squared. I can't use x, 5x squared here and x here because you, f you can't have x squared. You, this has to be the same power as the lowest power of, of your areas. Does that make sense? So then 5x times what gives you 10x squared? 2x. 5x times what gives you negative 15x? Negative 3. So your answer is 5x times x squared plus 2x minus 3. Now, getting back to what we talked about, first class period, 